My question was, uh, if you are looking to kind of get the break into the industry with writing, I've heard a lot of like, like how to pitch scripts and stuff like that. But how do you get those initial meetings? Or, or like, how do you find the people to pitch to? Because I know you kind of broke in through your time on film sets and stuff. If we don't have that experience, is that just something we have to get? Or um, do you have any advice about agents or anything kind of in in that sort of side. So the the interesting thing is when I was when I was working at Stan's, um, you know, Stan knew I was a writer. He knew I was writing, um, but my job at Stan's was like that was my job. And when I would go home at night and on the weekends, Juliet and I would write these scripts. So there were lots of lots of weekends and nights that I gave up to you know basically work this other full-time job. When we got married and we decided to start writing together, we didn't have anything. We didn't even have a, a, a one script that we had co-written together. She had her own things. I had my own things, but we knew as a calling card, if we were going to go out and, and sort of present ourselves as a screenwriting, as a husband and wife screenwriting team, we needed to have one co-written script by the two of us that would say, this is who we are. So we spent about a year writing this one script and that was going to be our that was going to be our calling card so because we were both working full time jobs it it took a year now if someone if someone had more time today and they were going to start down the road of writing a spec script a sample a calling card script i would encourage that writer to give yourself a much shorter deadline and timeline Try to try to write that script in two to three months because there's something that happens in the intensity of writing a lot in a short period of time that that energy starts to translate onto the page. And then so once you have that finished script, so then that's the next step. How do you get it into the hands of people who need to read these things? Well, the interesting thing about this moment in time right now is that agents, managers, executives, producers, vice presidents of studios, everyone's at home on a Zoom screen just like this. Those typical power structures of where, where people are and how do you reach them and how do you get to them. Now with things like social media, a lot of producers, agents, managers, they're on Instagram, they're on Twitter. I've encouraged a lot of people to, you know, do research on who some of these representatives are. If you see their names in, you know, Deadline Hollywood or if you read Hollywood Reporter or Variety online, start to get familiar with, you know, certain names of management companies. There's the uh, blacklist every year that's all the best unproduced scripts of the year. And in the list, they tell you, who all those writers are managed by or who their agents are. So you can start to get familiar with who are all these people and where are they? And they all have email addresses and most of them have social media accounts. And you can start to just reach out directly to people that way. And, and even reach out in a simple way, just saying, I'm a new writer. I finished um, a new screenplay don't even pitch the log line. Say, I'd be interested in, in anyone at your company who might be able to read this. I'm a comedy writer or I'm a thriller writer or I'm a, I'm a drama writer. I'd love to hear from you. And, and I tell people, I go, find 30, 40 people that you can send an email to and blast it out. It's not about picking three or four or five people. It's, it's scattering it out reaching out to as many people as possible and just seeing who starts to get back to you. The way we got our agents and managers was like totally by accident. We had sent our script out to three or four agents and they all passed. And then a couple weeks later, we got a phone call from another agency who we hadn't even sent that, that calling card script to. And the way that that, that agent got it was he was roommates with one of the assistants of the agent who had passed on us someplace else. So he had the script and he said, you know, my boss passed on this, but I think these guys are pretty interesting and you might want to read it. So when you get your thing out there, the reason I think a calling card script is so important is that it takes on a life of its own 
outside of you. It becomes its own thing that could get passed around to different people who you're not even thinking about. There's also screenwriting competitions and film festivals. Um, I know a lot of people who've submitted things and maybe they've won an award, best first script, best short script, best sample pilot, whatever. And then from that, they're able to use that, you know, prize at a, at a film festival screenwriting competition as sort of a springboard to reach out to people and say, hey, I just won second place in the Austin Film Festival screenwriting competition. I'm looking for representation. I'd, I'd love to talk to someone at your company about uh, reading my script. Those are some of my, my kind of top pieces of advice that I would, um, I would lean into. Amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome.